We are gathered here for this auto show. As you can see, we're surrounded by these beautiful cars from Volkswagen. They are the number one seller, the number one manufacturers of the world, and they have a great outlook on what the take of the global economy is. We just spoke with Martin Vinterkorn, Dr. Professor Martin Vinterkorn, the CEO of the Volkswagen Group. He said he wasn't overly concerned about the slowdown in China and that he thought it was normalizing. Have a listen. We see a normalization process underway in China. We are convinced that China will continue to grow, surely no longer in two digits always, but it will continue to grow, particularly in the West. We are getting ready for this in the coast. China is saturated, but there is still growth, which is why in the Northwest, in Urumqi, we've set up a new factory two years ago. And our plan is to build a budget car, particularly for the West of China. Olivia, I asked him if he could ever foresee exporting autos from China. He dismissed the question, saying that wasn't a possibility, at least in the near or the medium term. Now, of course, the other big situation we're talking about here in Europe, and it's a humanitarian one, it could potentially be an economic one, is the refugee crisis. I asked Mr. Vinterkorn, Dr. Vinterkorn, about that, and he indicated that Volkswagen might be willing, it stands ready to do their part by having some sort of traineeship program for arriving refugees. We see and we follow that intensively from all our locations and sites. A lot of highly qualified people are coming over. That's an opportunity to use these highly skilled people to give them jobs at our sites and plants. And we see opportunities to train other refugees who aren't as skilled. This will be our contribution to deal with the refugee crisis. Now, you cannot have a conversation with the CEO of Mr. Vinterkorn's magnitude without asking him about the state of the euro, what's happening with the exchange rate. He said he thought the euro was a little undervalued, but then it would come back up. He's in a great position to know that because of his global sales. And we can't do something like this with, all, with not talking about the cars. They're going to be unveiling some new cars. We saw the new Tiguan just moments ago. And then more up your line, Olivia, we've got a Bentley SUV. Although. I think if you have a Bentley, don't, aren't you supposed to have a chauffeur? And isn't a Bentley what you want your wife to drive or your SUV fancy? I don't know. I'll let you make the decision. <laughs> uh, it, it's a great debate. It's a great debate. But I have been looking forward to the Bentley SUV. Thank